top area from a CPR perspective. I'm talking about a really nice setup, and this is this is the reason why that CPR can be used on any and every time frame, right? Because traders trade daily time frames, right? So let's literally look at why I'm very keen on this from a CPR perspective. Uh, all right, so lovely. <clears throat> Look at that. You would have had traders looking at getting involved in this trade on that pin bar. Perfect pin bar. All right, level has been touched once, twice, three times. So it's just really it doesn't get really more more perfect than this from a setup perspective now again i have no idea whether price is going to react from here but from a setup perspective this is you know as perfect as it gets because everybody who trades you know daily time frame everyone can see this pin bar right here and then all of a sudden you just get this massive move up so not only does it stop stop hunt people if they're using stop loss um stop losses it continues going higher right continues going higher so this is like once they've committed capital here this is the pain phase and it hasn't let them off the hook it really hasn't let them off the hook until pretty much now and where we are right so this is the height of pain if they're still in that and then you've got relief all right so relief is coming around here because they would have put their stop losses above there so they're trying to get out for their original trade yeah their original stop loss which would have been somewhere around here now if they're getting out for for a, um, their original loss then and they sell here then they have to do what here buy yeah so that adds to the demand equation you've also got new traders who are looking at this level and this is the reason why i actually like this um uh, resistance zone I guess resistance should turn to what support buying yeah because new traders are getting involved this is a very obvious level new traders are getting involved here and then you've got traders who sold here and if they're looking to take profit where they're going to take profit at a problem area where it may reverse because it bounced off of here bounced off of here for example bounced off of there and it's just a technical pattern. So there's gonna be new traders looking at taking profit around here. If you sold here, you've got to buy to exit. So you've got loads and loads of you know demand coming in here from a technical analysis perspective. So when we're looking at from a CPR zone perspective, rather than a daily demand zone perspective, in fact, this whole area, I would say that whole area there is actually demand. Yeah, there's got to be demand coming in from the from the top of this um, uh, resistance zone, and I guess turn it into support. But everything just below that, that whole area is demand, and that's there's slight differences between you know obviously the CPR zone and um, and the daily demand zone. But this just happens to be on a daily. But if I was trading this, that's how I would look at it. That scenario, that one two five, you know, up down to maybe the round number, you know, just before that round number is a really really nice area to look for by trade you're right also last week <clears throat> we went over the um the reasons why this zone um should likely have more demand there from a technical analysis perspective and understanding all the market participants um then really uh, supply and you can see that you know it worked out of course we do our fundamental analysis why do we want to be a buyer of the euro and why do we want to be a seller of the yen why is the euro a bargain here but technically um from last week's uh you know in-depth video the members video um you know we pretty much just broke down exactly why and it might seem obvious for example oh well that's just a level of you know uh resistance 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 should turn to support that's a no-brainer but what you need to understand is that not is that not all uh, support and resistance zones are the same yeah and what you want to do is you want to understand why that support and resistance zone is likely to you know reverse yeah so what we do is we understand all possible market participants and why there's more likely to be demand more demand orders here yeah than supply as we know 
as previously explained, you've got traders that were caught in their positions here, yeah, pain up here, and then relief. And if they went short here, then they have to do what to exit, yeah, but the buy to exit. Why would a trader stay in their trade? Because of loss aversion bias. Loss aversion bias is pain feels worse than gains feel good. And traders who don't trade with stop losses tend to move and remove their stop losses and, uh, they want to try and get out for their original loss break even how many of us have done that in the past or continuing to do it still now for example um and then you've got new traders entering positions here right based off of just basically support and resistance very basic um not really understanding why they're getting involved as far as it's only just a, a an accurate level of support and resistance but they would buy here as well which adds to the, the uh, buy equation and then you've got traders who went short here and they're taking profit, and if they went short here, then they have to do what to exit, they have to buy. So this is all demand orders, buying is demand orders. But if you don't understand that on the levels that you know we do at Trading 180, then you're not gonna be able to distinguish um, between um, you know the, the best uh, support and resistance and supply and demand zone areas. So I um, hope that video helps, and you can see pretty much from the absolute low when we were calling this, uh, depending on the entry, prices went up at least about 131 pips um, within that trade um, if you managed to get involved at the lows. So, yeah, very nice trade and can, uh, potentially could still continue to go a lot higher if the yen continues to weaken um, in a risk uh, with risk on sentiment. So, decent uh, for, the, for the trade, but there was definitely intraday, you know, examples of being able to get involved in and around these areas here or this area here for a long trade. All right, guys, take care. Until the next video, speak to you soon.